If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, subscribe to Easy Abayan Tricks and don't forget to click the bell icon for immediate updates. Hi everyone, welcome to the next lecture video. In today's topic, we can see how to find the dual of a network. Okay, so the topic is duals and duality, right? So the while converting a network into its equal and dual network, all the elements in a network has to be converted into its equal and dual form, right? So for the for example, if there is a current, it has to be converted into voltage. If it is open circuit, it has to be converted to short circuit, right? And the main important things are the main important terms are the inductance is converted to capacitance and resistance is converted to conductance understand and if it is a series circuit we need to convert it into parallel and if it is a voltage source it has to be converted to current source and kcl uh, the dual term is kvl and if it is a open circuit we need to convert it into short circuit and if it is a mesh the equivalent dual term is node thevenant northern you know thevenant is the dual dual theorem of Northern's theorem, right? And if it's a switch in series, if it is a closed switch, we need to convert it into parallel switch, which is open, right? So these are the important dual terms we need to know, right? The main things you need to know is that if it is a inductance, it has to be converted to capacitance, and if it is a resistance, it has to be converted to conductance. Understand? Now we can see how to convert a simple network into its equal and dual network easily within a fraction of second right so first find that how many loops are there in a circuit right so this circuit has a single loop right so mark that particular loop mark a point inside the particular loop right mark it as one understand it that it has a single loop so for our resultant dual network has a single node understand so in that particular node how many elements are connected we need to mark it in parallel or series that we are going to see right so in this particular loop all elements are connected in series so in this particular dual node in this particular dual network this particular node has all elements in parallel that is series is converted to parallel this particular mesh is converted to node understand it has a single mesh it is converted into a single node all the elements are connected in series in that particular mesh all the elements are connected in parallel in this particular node right so we need to uh, we need to mark all the elements in parallel right and also all the elements has has an equal and dual term also right that term has to be marked in parallel here understand so here in this particular mesh first element is resistor right so that resistors what is the dual term of the resistor resistance dual term is conductance right thus first mark the value of conductance in that particular node understand that is g correct and and the second inductance what is the dual term of inductance capacitance right so mark the capacitance that is c okay and then and then what is the value what is the dual term of this capacitance inductance so mark the value as inductance and finally we have a voltage source also that voltage source what is the dual term of voltage source here current source the direction everything is same understand this is the dual network of this particular network i am marking it as i that is i will be equal to v and this g will be equal to that r the dual term i am marking the dual term correct this uh, c is the dual term of l and this l is the dual term of this c understand so this is the shortcut way to convert a particular network into its dual network within a fraction of second right so first identify how many meshes are there convert that meshes into nodes and then fi and find uh, how many uh, elements are there in that particular mesh if it is connected in series you have to mark it in parallel and then find the dual term of each individual element and then uh, connect to that particular node in parallel right that's all for a dual network this is a simple example we can see some complicated examples examples also right now we can see a problem okay the problem is to find the dual of the network right given okay so first uh, what is the first step the first step is to find the number of meshes in that particular given circuit right how many meshes are there there are two meshes so first mark the meshes uh, at the particular circuit that is one and here two right there are two meshes right so instead of drawing an intermediate diagram we can just directly draw the dual of the network right easily right there are two meshes so mark the meshes as one and two right i am marking it as one and here i am marking it as two understand so the particular meshes are converted to nodes now 
Understand? Now, the first step is to find the common element between the two meshes. So, what is the common element between the two meshes? 1 and 2, the 2 more, not resistance, the, the, uh, it, is, it, it, it was labeled as conductance. Understand? Mo. Mo is nothing but the unit of conductance, G, correct? So, the common element between the meshes 1 and 2 is 2 mo, that is conductance, right? It is connected in parallel, so we need to convert it in series circuit. That is, the common element between 1 and 2 is this particular branch, we need to convert it in series in the dual network, right? That is, 2, what is the equivalent value here? It is conductance, the, what is the equivalent value here? Resistance, correct? That is 2 ohms. Understand? So, this is the equivalent value. Understand? And then, now, and then we need to find the unique elements in that particular mesh. So, what are the unique elements in this particular mesh? This mesh one has unique element, this 10 volt and this 5, 5 Henry inductance, right? These two are connected in series. So, while connecting here, we need to con uh, connect it in parallel. Understand? So, connect the two elements in mesh 1 in this node 1. Understand? These two are in series and so we need to convert, uh, connect it in parallel in this particular node 1. Understand? I am just drawing in this way for your an uh, analysis, for your easy convenience, right? That is a current source. This 10 volt is uh, converted to 10 ampere current source and this 5 Henry, what is the dual term of this inductance? Capacitance. So, this value is converted to capacitance. The value remains the same. Understand? 5 5. What is the unit of capacitance? Farad. So, 5 farad. Understand? So, these two are connected in series. So, in this particular node 1, these two are connected in parallel. Understand? Got it? And now, coming to mesh 2. Mesh 2, what are the unique elements? Only in mesh 2, this 5 farad and this 1 ohm. Understand? So, that two are connected in series in mesh 2. So, that, that two are connected, has to be connected in parallel in node 2. Understand? So, this 5 farad, what is the equivalent of this 5 farad? 5 Henry. Understand? This capacitance is converted to inductance. So dual time of capacitance is inductance. You know, right? That is, you need to convert it into inductance. What is the equivalent value? The value doesn't change. Just 5 Henry. And what is the equivalent value? Dual value of this resistor? Conductance, right? So, just mark, mark it as 1 more. Understand? So, just... Finally, draw this reference node. Understand? So, this is the equivalent dual network of this particular network. Understand? So, I am just revising. First, find the number of meshes. There are two meshes. So, mark it as number of nodes. 1 and 2. And first, find the common element between the two meshes. 2 more is the common element. So, it is connected in parallel. So, in particular, in, this, uh, in between these two nodes, connect, that, uh, for, uh, connect the dual of that particular element in series. Right? Here, 2 more. So, we are connecting it as 2 ohm. Understand? More is connect, converted to ohm. The value doesn't change at all. Keep that point in mind. Right? And then, find the unique values in all the meshes. So, in for a particular mesh 1, there are 5 Henry and 10 volt branch in series, right? So, just convert that particular uh, uh, particular branches in series in parallel, right? Here 10 volt it is converted to current source and here uh, inductance is con uh, converted to uh, capacitance and same way in mesh 2, uh, this capacitance is converted to inductance and this resistance is converted to conductance, understand? Finally, join by uh, to a reference node. So, this is the equivalent dual network, understand? We have found out within within a minute, right? So this is the way to solve a, to find a dual of a network easily. Understand? And here we have a second problem. The problem is to find the dual of the network, right? It seems to be a bigger network having a number of meshes, right? So the, or follow the same steps as the as in the previous problem, right? So you can while practicing, you can do it within a minute itself, right? So here there are how many meshes? There are one. Mark the number of meshes. One. 2, 3 and 4. There are 4 number of meshes. Correct? So that meshes are converted to its equal and nodes. Correct? So I am marking it as 1, 2, 3 and 4. Understand? The 4 meshes are converted to 4 nodes here. 
Understand? Now, what is the next step? Find the common elements between the meshes, right? So, what is the common element between the meshes 1 and 2? There are two elements in common between meshes 1 and 2. That two elements are connected in series, right? So, that particular element has to be converted in parallel, connected in parallel in its equivalent dual network. So, that's a concept, right? So, 1 and 2 has a common element of 1 ohm and 2 farad, right? So, find the dual element and connect it in parallel since it is connected in series in its original network, correct? So, 1 and 2 has first common element is 1 ohm that has to be converted to that has to be converted to resistance is converted to conductance correct so 1 1 ohm is converted to mole right and then this 2 farad is also common between meshes 1 and 2 correct so that particular element find the dual of that particular element and connect it in parallel what is the dual of the capacitance inductance so that has to be convert connected in parallel so capacitance is converted to inductance understand that is 2 henry the value doesn't change at all understand this is the equivalent value between 1 and 2 got it and then then find the common element between the meshes 2 and 3 correct what is the common element between the meshes 2 and 3 only a single resistor that resistor has to be has to be connected in parallel here it is connected in parallel so here it has to be connected in series right that is 2 ohm is converted to 2 more simple right and then what is the common element between the meshes 3 and 4 3 and 4 as a common element is 1 henry so what is the dual element capacitance so 1 farad that's it right and then what is the next step find the unique element in each meshes so one first mesh has a unique element as this 10 volt and this 2 ohm branch right these two are connected in series so we need to convert that particular branch in as in parallel understand so this 10 volt is converted to 10 ampere and similarly and similarly this 2 ohm branch is converted to 2 mo value doesn't change correct so that's all in mesh 1 over and coming to mesh 2 what is the unique element this 3 henry is connected only to mesh 2 that is a unique element right so what is the equal and dual term of this henry capacitance right so 3 henry is converted to 3 farad understand and coming to mesh 3 what is the unique element in mesh 3 unique element in mesh 3 is 1 farad correct so that farad is converted to henry right that is 1 henry understand and then coming to mesh 4 only one ohm resistor is unique element so that ohm is converted to mo correct that is one mo simple right so just connect all the branches to a reference node understand so this is the way you need to find the dual of a network simple right so no need to draw any intermediate diagram just convert the number of meshes into nodes and first find the common element and then find the unique elements and if it is connected in series connected in parallel right simple right so this is the way you have to find the dual of a net. Understand? So that's all in today's lecture. So if you like my video, do a like, share this video to your friends and subscribe to my channel Easy Abiantrix and click the bell icon for immediate updates. If you have any doubts also, you can leave a comment in my comment section. And this is TK signing off. Thank you.